Hey, all right, guys. This could be the last time you see me doing this for a while. Uh, healthy lifestyle starts tomorrow. New Steve. Yeah, that's good. So I've been clearing the cupboards out today. Get rid of the old, uh, the high carb stuff. Going back on a keto regime. See how we get on, eh? Anyway, I've got a couple of mail calls, so I'll show you those and um, a little bit of my planning for the coming year. And first up, from the other side of the Atlantic, across the pond, northern Arizona. It's from the Davis family. Yeah, brainstorm makers. And, I'll tell you what, it's a lovely envelope. <laughs> um... Ooh, 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 ooh. Christmas card. Thanks, guys. Chuffed a bit. Thank you. I don't know. I enjoyed the year sharing everything. Looked you up on the map. Oh, a lovely area I live in. Thank you very much. Yes, we do. Lovely area. And they're sending me some, some bachelors. Buttons, I thought it said bottoms, uh, buttons, bachelor's buttons, there we go, and they're called uh, cornflower, cornflowers, yeah, and some chives. Thanks very much, guys. I'll tell you what, it is so spooky because I need these, and I'll show you why in a minute when we get on to my, uh, the plan for the uh, the forthcoming year. And, oh, oh a bit wobbly this, a makeshift board I've got going here. And the second mail call was from Terry King over at uh, Terry King Allotment Gardening on a Budget. Also known as the Robotic Gardener because he works so hard. Never stops. Anyway, uh, heavy chilies, Long chilies, Heavy chilies, His own seed. And long chilies, His own seed. And they will be going in today along with other chilies From last year. So uh, hey, I mate Tim, you've got another shout out here mate. Um, Troll Forge, Troll Farm, I've got his chilies to go in as well. Um, Sugar Rush Peach, Thai uh, thingies, and some orange ghosts. And I've got my own uh, chilies that I bought, the Marconis. Just trying to get some long chilies, so that'll be coming up in a minute. And uh, seeing as I had so many chilies to sow, I thought I'd do them all together in one uh, one lot in the Agrolan pl uh, plug trainer. So I'm going to put... Um, the ones from Terry, I'm going to put the three long seeds there, three heavy seeds, his own heavies and his own longs. And then um, Tim at Troll Forge, I'm going to put his ties there, the sugar rush peach there, the orange ghost there, and my Marcone is there. I'll tell you what, I've had a bit of a fuss with the compost I bought lately. It is full, I'm just going to stand up a second, it is full of, and I'm talking over here while I'm going to go and fetch it. It's full of what I can only describe as slug eggs, and I'm not sure if they are or not. They're certainly not fertiliser pearls. So what I've done, I put them in one of my baking bowls, and I microwaved it for three minutes. It has come out steaming hot, and there is not a baby slug in there, or any eggs or anything. So, it's still hot now, actually. Still warm. So anyway, I'm using that. I'm not going to throw it away. It costs like 13 quid a bag. It's an 80 litre bag of seed compost. Special compost with um, sand in it, so I'm not going to throw it away. Right. Uh, onto my plan for 2020, really. I mean, this is this is my uh, huge spreadsheet. It's got everything on there. I also use some um, Airtable, uh, but... Um, I'll put a link below to Steve at um, Steve's Seaside Allotment Garden, who uh, put me onto Airtable. Uh, it's, it's a great online um, spreadsheet, database, well, anything you want, really. Um, I'm sure Steve can explain it better than I can. So, But for now, I'm going to show you my Commoner Garden Excel spreadsheet. Um, well, it starts off with the first tag, tab, sorry, things to do. So allotment, home, things to buy and things to film for you guys. Um, yeah, clear the allotment, clear the beds, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, the 2020 plan, which is what I'm sort of doing now. Things in red are a bit more important. Um, sort the larder. Well, that's sorted down to um, my new uh, uh, new healthy lifestyle starting tomorrow. Get rid of the uh, the high-carb foods and that. Um, chilies. I'll show you those in a minute. And things I've got to buy and things I've got to film. 
this is going to be a good one. It's be quite controversial when this comes out, actually, bath water. If I get around to doing it, you know. Anyway, another tab is uh, the microgreens. Uh, ah, seems to be the latest. Um, I say latest. It's not latest, is it? Seems to be the uh, the current trend. It is very good. I love them. I mean, I've done peas, radish. Did not like sunflowers, I must admit. Uh, peas again, cress, mustard, kale's on the go now, and clover, and so on. Yeah, so this, um, just keeping tabs of things in general. And here, uh, and this is huge, this is my list for the things I'm going to grow in 2020. And I shall gently scroll down, because it will hurt your eyes if I go too fast. The things in blue are things I already own, things in black are what I'd like to get, and the things in red, sorry, yeah, things, oh yeah, some things in red I've already got the seeds for, and the ones in green are coming. In this column here is uh, the supplier, so you'll see some of them are, um, sorry, yeah, some of them are from um, mail calls, I'm trying to find one actually. <laughs> And there's my own seeds there, look. So my own run of beans from 2016, still growing. Did well last year. There is Willie, Willie, uh, Willie Coleman. Sent me some salamnum, some uh, huckleberries. Lovely. I'm going to try those. It's supposed to be quite bitter, but um, we'll see. Anyway, so look at that. I mean, uh, yakon. I'm going to delete that. Didn't like yakon last year. Not going to grow it this year. So, so far, 143 different things. Oh, well. We'll see. So here we have the actual planting schedule for the year uh, in Excel form again. It just tells me uh, the days I should be planting, should be sowing, sorry, and the days I've actually planted or sown. Different colour codes, you know what I mean? So I mean, this is last year's, so I'm still converting it to 2020. So this time last year, February the 2nd, I sowed the, uh, the Calabrese Marathon. You know, and it just it's, it's, it keeps, keeps tabs on things. Right, the allotment. At the top here we have the footpath, the public footpath that runs through, and then we got all the picture of my beds. This is the um, where the mound is. So in at the moment we have uh, cauliflower will be dick. Green is uh, planted, and blue is vacant. So we've got a vacant bit there. We've got some leeks in there. A couple of vacant ones here. Cauliflower, cauliflower. Collards greens, I am not going to grow those again. They stink, the worst cabbage stink you can ever think of. Uh, big tub here for long carrots or parsnips, compost bin tool store. Um, more, yes, yeah, so the Brussels sprouts, they'll be good over soon. Leeks are still going from last year, so I'll be picking some of those. Kalets, probably shan't bother with those again next year. They came to nothing, they weren't, uh, they weren't that tasty. Cut of elephant garlics, empty onions, uh, garlic. Um, that's just showing full because there are some brassicas from last year in there. Do, do, do. Where are we now? Glow bar to choke, empty, empty, and the kale. Oh, I can't, I can't convince myself not to grow kale. I, I don't like it. But the girls at work love it, so you know. Um, cut their little rhubarbs there and the big rhubarb. So that's the plot. And what I do then, I got a little uh, sheet just showing me what I've grown in each bed in what year. I'm not, um, I'm not uh, mad on rotations. Um, I don't follow them strictly, but you know, I, I just try not to grow the same things again. But there again, look. Shallots one year, shallots next year, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't follow. Onions, onions, onions. Three years in a trot, no problem with any, you know, no no uh, no pests. Right, the new allotment hopefully coming soon. This is where, right, it's a bit small. This one, right? So I'm not sure the size of it yet. Looks to be about ten meters by twenty meters. So I'm going to lay it out like this with beds. Flowers at each end, if you can see that. I'm just make a zoom. Ooh, wrong way. Flowers at each end, little walkway in between. And this is where I was, um, Irene and Henry's um, cornflowers are coming. So they will go at the end. They're great pollinator attractors. So uh, I'll stick some of those in. 
and oh yeah, sorry again, chives at the top, loads of herbs to go in there. There's actually a, a, a car driveway there, which I haven't put in, and one at the bottom. So, you know, the idea of being, you put the readily accessible things where the, the cars can get. These crosses are going to be uh, bean poles, or bean wigwams, or bean gallows, not quite sure yet. I'd like to try some cordon fruit, and a few more rhubarb, and I have four currants. Two, what have we got now? Two white, two red, one white, one black, or something like that anyway, to go in. So we'll see, and, um, and the rest of it is all history, how it went last year. <sighs> Just a little insight of what I'm doing, guys. Uh, hope you like it. Right. Just been watching Liz Zora, but by the farm, um, in between cooking a macaroni cheese. So uh, I better get onto that, because it's boiling away merrily in the background. Have a great one, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.